I love to see that when my sister gets spoke on highly when she ain't around and people don't know how much me and you together. Mm -hmm. So when I hear that and see that, it makes me feel good for you to know that you're doing all the right things. Well, thank you. Thank you. You're doing all Everybody the right Everybody be things. speaking highly of you too, you know. Because I keep them high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back. doing my thing because I'm trying to like just try different shit right now just having fun because like I've, I've mastered music but now I want to like do TV I want to do like comedy I want to do like broadcasting scripted shit unscripted shit just because I want to right but I mean you're the only person I know that's endorsing like you got these endorsement deals on lock like this branding that's on lock I want to learn that for real? Yeah, because, I mean, you got three different alcohol brands <laughs> rolling at the same damn time. I'm like, this nigga's a genius. <laughs> How do you do it? Teach me. Teach me. You know what it is, Tiff? You got to tell them what you want instead of them telling you what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. And all it is is they need you. And if they need you, they're going to play your game. Mm. And what's so cold, and they know it, and I can say it publicly, I don't drink none of that shit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And they know what it is. It's like, nigga, you don't pay me to drink it. You pay me to promote it. Right. So I'm not here to get drunk. I'm here to get money. Right. And I can't be exclusive because I'm Snoop Dogg, and this is what makes me, this is why you fuck with me, because I'm internationally known, and I can cross shit up. If you start making me be the you and you only, then the people... Outside of your brand ain't gonna wanna fuck with me. I'm trying to make everybody fuck with me. But I seen you in an international, what's it, a commercial? It was an international commercial for something that's not even in America. Like a delivering food service? Yeah. Like the Uber Eats for Australia? Yeah. How'd you do that? I a love whole it. nother country. So whenever you go to Australia <laughs> or the UK, Tiffany, I'll have some food delivered. Please, darling, please. No, you won't have to I'll pay for I'll be in the UK thing. next year, darling. No, they got good food, though. They had, like, what was I rapping about? Sushi and all that kind of shit? Like the shit I don't eat. Mm-hmm. All that rich shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't fuck with that. I mean, you don't? I'll eat a California roll. That's about it. I will, too, with that salmon. Yeah. I'll no, with, with the that. crab in it. Yeah, crab. crab. That's it. That's crab. it. That's crab. it. That's crab. it. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's they it. be trying to have that salmon raw. I can't nah, do that. I'm nah, not you're right. Raw it's the It's the crab. It's the mm -hmm. motherfucking mm -hmm. crab. I, I hate one. when they be sprinkling the dang uh, caviar eggs on top. Like, dang, I don't want to eat nobody babies. I don't want to eat no baby eggs. I don't want to eat caviar or that shit they call... What they call octopus, they try to make it a cute name. Calamari? Yeah, that bullshit. Fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, I don't eat that either. Trying to make it cute. Uh, mm -hmm. Would you like some calamari? No, I no nigga, I don't eat octopus. I'll eat the, ve the vegan calamari. The vegan version of it is good. I'm mm -hmm. not eating the real calamari. They fool you, Tiff, with them words that say, would you like some escargot? Oh, why certainly. And then nigga bring you a fried <laughs> snail. <laughs> nigga, if you don't get your ass off my face. <laughs> we used to eat snails when I was a kid. That was like, if you Put lost the contest, you had to eat the snails off the side of the house. You crazy. That's what we, that was, yeah, we used to be. My sister used to be fucking them snails up because she used to lose <laughs> all the time. <laughs> she used to stay losing. Sometimes so, I would lose. I had to eat the damn snail off the side of the house. It was gross. But Tiff, was it with the shell on or off? You had to take the shell. You had oh, to suck no. the, the thing Come on, out of the Tiff. Shell. It was gross. You had to suck. My nigga just left. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's disgusting. You had to suck the snail that's, 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 that's the kind of games we played. <laughs> Like if you lose this contest, we bringing that to the hood Olympics, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta eat the you, snail If the you side. don't win gold, silver, or bronze, <laughs> grab that snail, nigga, yeah. and begin. <laughs> <laughs> bon appetit, no salt, no butter. Damn. Mm -hmm. The games we played in the hood. Man. Did you play Ding Dong Ditcher? All the time. Got lots of whoopings for that. Especially when I went to my cousin's house, because we didn't know them neighbors, so. We go over there and do ding dong ditch him, and then we get back home, and then later, by the time we get home, we get a whooping because somebody been told, and mm -hmm. it'd be a late night whooping too. You think the whole day was beautiful? It'd be like <laughs> 10, 30, 11, nigga, you get whooped, nigga, like. Get lit up because <laughs> I got that phone call. <laughs> nigga, like, I thought I made it through the day. It's 10, 30, I'm getting a whooping. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? 
You ever get whooped out of bed? What? <laughs> I got whooped out of bed and in the bed. Yeah. Motherfucker whipped me till I went under the sheets yeah, and was right. like, okay, this is enough. Right. I'm going to bed. Right. Over a damn dish. Come on now. Tiff, you got any aspirations to put out um, clothing, any type of clothing? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting, I'm actually in the process of working on my athletic wear line. Mm, mm -hmm. workout gear? Yes, yeah, she ready gear. Oh, mm -hmm. she ready? She ready workouts. You know yes. what I think you should have? What? You should have an action figure. I probably will end up having an action figure because I'm doing this superhero movie next year as well. That's that's why everything had to happen, like all the body stuff. Body, yeah, yaddy, okay. yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying, like, just on your own, like, she ready uh, action figure for the little super girls that coming up from the hood that, you know, she ready. Yeah, that would be dope. That would be super dope. And that you can have different nice. hairstyles that they can change her into. Yeah, she had little wigs. Yeah. Then she can put them Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like if you're going to do it, you, if you're going to do it, do it, it real. Yeah. You think they mama them ain't changing wigs and shit in front of them? All so the now time. they can do the dolls and yeah. do that. Like, that's yeah. a good play for you. That is a dope ass play. Without sharing, like, the, the, the splits. Because when you're talking about a movie, they already got their merchandise and their shit in play. I'm talking about She Ready is what you created. Yeah. You no, created. this movie I created. Oh, it's you? Yeah. Oh, you bad man. But no, I got it out of, now let me be honest, I got the comic book. It's called uh, Mystery Girl, mm -hmm. the comic book. And uh, cause me and my brother, I was like, man, there is no black female superheroes. And yeah. he was, and he's like super into comic books. And he's like, well, there's a few, there's a few, but they're kind of corny. And I was like, let me see. So we go down to the comic book store. We was in there for about two, three hours, me, him, my homegirl, Aika. And we was looking through all these comic books and it was about six. But I liked Mystery Girl the best. Because you knew you could add your flavor to it. I knew I could add my flavor to it. And she could see what, you, what you've what you done in the past. And she could tell what you're going to do. Mm. So that's every power a woman wishes she had. Mm. Well, yeah. you a woman, you would know. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we already kind of got those powers. Uh, but we, to have the cheat code would be an ultimate. Yes. Yes. It'd be ultimate. So, um, I, I, wish, we had, I wish we had the power that we can have as many bitches as we want and bitches shut the fuck up about it. Only if we could have as many niggas as we want. <laughs> I'll shut the fuck up if I could have as many niggas as I want. Like, that's a superpower I want to be able to have as many bitches as I want and the other bitches shut the fuck up. That's called mind control. <laughs> <laughs> In one country, they said they told... The men that they got to marry four women or they going to jail. You got to have a minimum of four women or, or they going to jail. What? Yes. Yeah, where, where's the country where you that's can man have law. multiple husbands? That's probably. Uh, I'm going to have to build that country. You know what I think that is? That's Side Bitch City. That's Side Bitch City? <laughs> <laughs> But a woman really don't want that kind of, that, that stress no way. That's a lot, that's a lot of men to please. It really is. It's too you much. You know how y'all is. Yeah, I'm real fickle. I don't know though, in my 40s I've been a little, I'm a little, I get on, I, I mean, I'm a little aggressive. In your 40s you became aggressive? I'm a little aggressive in my 40s, I'm a little aggressive. You don't think you was aggressive in your 30s? I was aggressive, but not like as aggressive as I am now. I think you just probably know what you want now. In the 30s you was trying to figure out what you want. No, in my 30s I was still trying to be cute. I was trying not to be coming off like, I was caring. You know about a nigga feelings. Now, oh, really? For real? Now I'm like, you uh, cared about a nigga inner emotions? I cared about their feelings. Like, oh, don't be, you know, don't make them feel oh, like, you don't know. Don't cry, nigga. I'll be back. Don't hurt them. That was you was like, don't cry, nigga. I'll be back. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll be back. Uh, but now I'm more aggressive. Like, are you gonna take your pants off right now? Or are we just gonna sit here and stare at each other? <laughs> well, damn, mm -hmm. Tiffany, could you at least let my dick get hard? You, you're scared. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm gonna touch it. Don't worry. Say, Close you, your eyes. Lay down. You're scared. Shush. You're scared hush, my hush, dick. Hush. Hush. You're drying me out. You're getting dried out. <laughs> hush. <laughs> hush. <laughs> oh, well, let me tell you this. Did I tell you the shit I fucking love? You and that nigga, uh, 
Andre, is that his name? Eric Andre? Eric Andre, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I put some, Bad trip. Who did I, I put somebody up on, I put one of my teammates on, and I was like, nigga, you got to see this shit, man. That <laughs> shit is fucking hilarious. Man, so many people's like, Tiffany, you could get an Oscar for that movie. No, you that know, shit is super that, you came fucking through, like, good. So dedicated and everything, you should get nominated. I said, well, tell everybody. I'm with it. Inside the Smoker Studio, everyday people, AKA real nigga shit. I'ma ask you some questions, Tiff, and you answer to the best of your ability. All right. What's the first thing you do or think of when you wake up? First thing I do is I thank God that I woke up. Then I uh, roll over, feel if there's a man in the bed. And if it ain't, I pass gas. Wow. Well, the, old, the old Putin roll, huh? <laughs> If he ain't in the bed, I go ahead and let it rip. I used to do that too. Look through the back, so oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she left. Oh, she left, huh? <laughs> let me give her something to <laughs> not come back to. <laughs> Hot or cold? Hot. Tacos or hamburgers? Tacos. Carne asada with cheese. How do I say this? Oh. Blow or hand job? Am I giving or receiving? Receiving. Well, I prefer. Well, it depends. <laughs> it depends on the man's hands. <laughs> if he got the mechanic hands, you can go ahead on and just, just kiss it, okay? <laughs> but if his teeth look bad, I don't want no parts of neither hand or mouth. Cause you're not finna have me with bacteria back so What you so want? Weird. You want so. him to rub it through the clothes? <laughs> yeah, if he got you I mean, can rub it through the pants. You can rub it through my jeans, you yeah, know, through just, my panties. You in know, those in jeans, I can tell <laughs> that you like it. <laughs> yeah, but you can't touch it with your bare hands. So I'll tell you that right now. If he she got said, nice hands. She said, patty cake, patty cake, patty cake. Yeah, exactly. He said, uh uh. Yeah, but if they got good teeth, good hands, I'm a if they if they and they got the juicy lips, I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the blowjob before I go for the right hand to job. let their lips touch on your lips. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, nice, that's yum, a nice yum, play. Yum yum lips, get that's em. a nice play. Get him, sir. Get him. Do you talk to him when he's down there, or you let him do his thing? Um, well, if they if they going a little bit out of the you know out of the realm, I do I like to give guidance. So you have navigation. I give yes, I have navigation because um I'm, I feel like let's not waste my time or your time, you know get. Follow directions. Please turn left. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna need you to rise up just a little bit. Uh, slow down. Uh, no teeth, please. Okay. Then kiss, 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 kiss. Suck yeah. it, suck it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good there job. you go. There. Now, uh, hum. Can you hum a little bit while you do that? Yeah. <laughs> I love that shit. Oh, you know how to sing? Sing to it while you do it. Sing me, sing me your favorite song. Like, uh, 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 Give me some more dick now. Okay, bring it on up, bring it on up. Yeah, come on up here now for the standing <laughs> ovation. And now for the standing ovation. Pop, 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 pop. Tiff, what's your favorite pair of shoes of all time? My pe my favorite pair of shoes of all them karate slippers from Ralph's for ABC. Remember them karate slippers? With the brown bottoms. Yes, Say them less. is my favorite shoes of all time. It was five dollars. I had one pair. I don't know where uh. the fuck they at. Black people, are you a recent grad or newly hired employee in corporate America? If that's you, congrats on doing the damn thing. As you climb the corporate ladder, one thing is for certain, you'll be surrounded by the whites, but you don't have to go it alone. You've got a friend on the inside that can help you both survive and thrive working alongside the unmelanated. When you need answers, just call Tom. Tom is a answer-based AI platform designed for and powered by black professionals who have been in the game long enough to know how to play it. Simply ask Tom for advice and get valuable suggestions no matter the situation. Take a listen to Tom in action. Hey Tom, I've got a morning meeting with some of my clients. They're mostly white. What should I bring for food? 
bring bagels and cream cheese. White people love bagels and cream cheese. Hey Tom, I'm having drinks with my boss tonight. I normally drink Hennessy, but I'm not so sure. What do you think? Old white men love black men that drink old fashions. It's that easy. Ask Tom. Real advice from a real N-I-G-G-A-I. There yeah, they go, Jeff. Yeah, there they go. That's it. Yeah. My favorite shoes. Hey, I remember. My... They even got a nigga with a karate move in the middle yes, of the motherfucker. Yes, they do. <laughs> Man, why? Uh, one day when I was in high school, I had worn this pretty brown dress I got from the Slauson Swap Meet, and it had little stripes on it, and it was the first day of cross country, and we had to run around the track. Oh, I hated that. And and I didn't have uh, my, my track uniform yet. I didn't have my uniform. So I was, the coach was like, you still got to run. I don't care. And I had those damn shoes on. You was picking up And dust. I was running around the track, right? And I had a clip-on ponytail. I thought I was so sexy. And I was like, all the football players is going to be like, damn, she look good. Mama fine, right? And then so I'm running, and I got my dress on, and I'm running, and I'm like trying to be cute, and my ponytail falls off, and the nigga, <laughs> nigga. Peter be saying, you dropped this karate kid. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite candy of all time? Chico sticks. What's your favorite? And sneakers. What's your favorite cereal of all time? Cereal? I wasn't a big cereal person, but I did used to beg for Raisin Bran or Frosted Flakes. Okay, if you were stuck on the island for a year and could only listen to three albums, what would they be? Um, it'd be all Stevie Wonder. All the Stevie Wonder's albums. I fuck with Stevie. Man, I feel like I could listen to him for till time indefinite. If you could remake any movie and star in it, what would it be? Funny Girl? Mm. And uh, I would have, uh, yeah, I would be, in, I would meet, remake Funny Girl. Wow, that's a classic. Yeah. Maybe get Barbra Streisand to direct it. That is super classic. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? To control people's happiness. That would be my superpower. Mm. To be able to give them happiness. Like, as soon as I walk into a room, everybody just feels joy. And then if somebody do some fucked up shit, I could just snatch all their happiness away for the till time indefinite. And they never feel joy with nothing. Like, I feel like I would make that like a prison sentence. Like, if, if I was a judge and I'd be like, okay, you are convicted. You are convicted of this crime. And you will no longer have joy or happiness in anything. And I hit my gavel. And it is done. And I just reach my hand out like this, mm. and I just take all that joy, and put it in my fucking pocket, and watch them be sad and miserable for the rest of their fucking <laughs> life. There's three niggas I would do that to right now. <laughs> they would have to beg me, beg me for your joy, motherfucker, unless you organize my closet and pick up the dog <laughs> shit in the backyard for the next five years straight. And then I'll give you bouts of joy. <laughs> Just bounce. Just like a, a little bit. <laughs> what is your favorite movie scene of all time? My favorite movie scene of all time is um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit when the detective says to the rabbit, why are these people doing this nice stuff for you? And he said, because I make them laugh, Eddie. If you make people laugh, they'll do anything for you. Please. Love it. That's my favorite scene. I love it. Do you know that that movie was based off of some real shit that went down in L.A.? Are you serious? Yeah, so that judge, the judge that they had in there, that's a real judge, and he had a lot of money invested in Firestone Tires, right? Mm. Into the tire company, right? Mm. So the tire, they was getting all this rubber and stuff from Africa for hella fucking cheap because they had basically robbed the land. So they was making these, they was like, we're going to make tires, and so we got to sell more cars. And L.A. had the best transit system at that time. We had those trolleys, those little train, all the train tracks. You're like, what are these train tracks for? Because we had the best transit system system at the time. Mm. And so they started taking down, knocking down people's houses, mostly in black communities, right, and building these freeways so they could sell more cars than they sell more tires. Because you need more space for the cars. And in South Central LA, the Firestone, the old plant that made the tires is right in South Central LA. And do you know that there's like a freeway to go right by it? Wow. Yep. So it's based on a true story. That is and the so tombs is basically black people and Hispanic people. So we got to retouch that. We got to retouch mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. 
You know, the best movies always come from a little truth. This is the part of the show called Finish the Sentence. I'm going to start as you end it. Okay. Every morning when I wake up, I... Pray to God that I woke up. Thank you for letting me wake up. Amen. Pass gas. <laughs> Everybody got that one friend who... Makes them laugh. If I had a dollar for every time I heard someone say, I'd be rich. You ain't gonna do that. I look for blank in my man. Confidence. My favorite position is? Success. If I wasn't an entertainer, I'd be? A sex education teacher. The meaning of life is? To enlighten others. When I'm gone, I want to be remembered for? This bomb ass pussy. <laughs> I'm just like, I can't help it. No, nope, to be that's honest. Her that's, that, that, was, that was that, a joke. That's her answer. That Fuck was a that. joke. Nope. That was a joke. Cut that the mic off. That's her answer. <laughs> no. I'm gonna be remembered for bringing joy with this bomb ass pussy. <laughs> My name is Tiffany Haddish, and I am a unicorn. Is that related to the horse? Yes. <laughs> You're not scared of me. <laughs> nah. It's between a horse and a rhino. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your combinations be crazy as a motherfucker, Tim. Are you, are you afraid of rhinoceros? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm one of the safari. I'm not afraid of rhinoceros. You're not they don't... afraid of rhinoceros? No, they you don't. you afraid of horses? Yeah, I don't know why. But see, rhinoceros is nothing but a dinosaur version of horse. <laughs>